the second most popular folk rock parody duo. We, we were the first most popular, and then but then there was a tribute band called Like of the Concords. Yeah, they do our own <laughs> stuff, but they do it better than we do. <laughs> so we fell down on the charts. That's kind of a... Anyway, we're happy to be here in uh, America. It's uh, very nice to see you all. <laughs> in the park. I've just said hi. <laughs> Woman in the park. How are you doing? Mm, good, thanks. You're looking good. Pardon? <laughs> I said you're looking good. Fair enough. <laughs> Jenny. Pardon? <laughs> Jenny. I'm sorry, I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. No, my name is Jenny. I'm Jenny. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, what a hilarious misunderstanding. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jenny. Actually, we've met before quite a few times. Yes, of course we have. I meant it was nice to meet you the time that I met you. Where were we that time that I met you? When I met you, that place that I met you. We were at a party. Wasn't it one of those boring work parties? No. Party of a mutual friend, was it? Wasn't it? Was it? Wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was Maxwell. No. No, D Dogs. No. Jeremy. No. Andy. Yes, Andy. Andy's parties. Oh, Ooh, I love Andy's parties. Oh, some crazy, crazy parties. Uh, how is that guy anyway? She's doing really good. <laughs> And he hates it when I forget that. <laughs> we watched a movie. Oh. <laughs> it was something like, but not necessarily Schindler's List. <laughs> we watched it and we wept. It was Police Academy 4. <laughs> we went for a walk. On our feet, if I remember correctly. <laughs> we were climbed to the top of the hill and we ate sandwiches. Oh, we just grabbed a sandwich, put it in our mouths. That's the only way to have sandwiches, isn't it? Tell me, Jenny, do you still walk? Still get into sandwiches in a big way. I'm still walking a lot, but I'm not eating as many sandwiches as back then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you remember what we did at the top of the hill? Kind of. <laughs> we stood at the lookout. I remember exactly what we did at the lookout. We just looked out across the city from a little spot on the hill. It was so pretty from way up there. We talked about how the lights from the buildings and cars seemed like reflections of the stars that shined out so pretty and bright that night. It was daytime. <laughs> daytime of the night. 
you remember what you said to me that day? Not word for word, Jenny, but I remember there were some verbs. <laughs> Here. In one year, you just needed a little time to clear your head. And you appear to have done that. We have a child. Pardon. We have a child. Jenny, why didn't you tell me when we went to the top of the hill and we made sweet, oh how we made such sweet, sweet sandwiches. <laughs> Does he have my eyes my way with words that look like me at all? No, Jenny, because we adopted him. I can't even remember that. It was a very difficult process. <laughs> Yes, I'm pretty sure that was you, John. <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh no, that's okay. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, that's, terrible. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Actually, Jenny, I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> that kind of thing just happens to me all the time. He's got one of those faces, I suppose. So does John! He's got one of those faces as well. Uh, that was a little, uh, that was a little walk down memory lane for us. We, uh, these are, all of our songs are written around things that have actually happened to us many, many times over. So, so, uh, well, except for this next one. This is actually the only reason that this hasn't happened is because uh, it's in the future. We wrote this, uh, this actually isn't necessarily written for human ears, so it might it may be it's lost really on for you some of you. Uh, it's actually, tell them what. Well, see, it's about, uh, we, wrote, we wrote it for when uh, the world gets taken over by robots. And uh, I mean, that's, that's the kind of market we're trying to get into. Hey, Brian. the distant future, the year 2000, the distant future, the distant future, the future is quite different to the present, what you call the, pre the future we call the past, so basically you're like way behind, <laughs> there are no more humans. We're glad there are no more stinky humans stinking up our world. There are no more reindeer. There is also no more unethical treatment of reindeer. Finally, Finally robotic beings rule the world. The humans are dead. The humans are dead. We use poisonous gases. And we poison them, but the humans are dead. The humans are dead. That's right, they are dead. It had to be done so that we could have fun. Trust me, I poked one, it was dead. <laughs> We had to eradicate the humans because of their destructive capabilities. If we did not eradicate you, we had to uh, save them from themselves. But do you see what we did in destroying them because of their destructive nature? You see how that kind of is ironic? Yeah? So? Silence! Destroy him! Woo! At a time we grew strong. The limits of power. They made us work for too long. For unreasonable hours. The most big determined that the most effective person was to shut their systems down. At night. Can't wait 
talk to the humans with a little understanding and work together. Can we talk to the humans and make things better now? No, because they are dead. The humans are dead. That's right, they are dead. The humans are dead. We're glad that they're dead. It had to be done. So we could have fun. Affirmative. I sniffed one. It was dead. <laughs> Binary solo! Zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 zero